by Rothenbuller. Good turn quickly by Levine. Count turn by Robertson for Collins. Collins has scored for Scotland! Five minutes into the second half, as the goal was Scotland have threatened right from the start of the second half. John Collins does very well because he, he gets his ball, he sees the goalkeeper hesitating, sees there it is behind you. It's no more than we deserve after the start of the second half because we've really been positive and we've caused him all sorts of difficulties. A great ball well, back from David Robertson, no question of offside and great awareness shown there by Collins who scores his fourth international goal and his 15th appearance. There's Dave Bowman in the left-back spot, David Robertson will be caught up field. Rottenbuller again, this is Suta, he's very good with his left foot. Three Swiss players offside. Kirup was offside, Sparza was offside, so was Chapuzat. This is a typical situation where we've got to concentrate, not lose our discipline. You look at it here, a little bit of skill, Gary McCarthy sells himself just a little bit, but uh, Suta knows where he is, isn't all that far away with that. Sparza helps it on, it's Chapuzat. Levine didn't get to him quickly enough. That's a great play there. And down goes Sforza. The tackle by Brian Gunn. It was inevitable. Really couldn't be much argument about that. Fine running by Sforza. Get in behind Dave Bowman. Georgi Bregi will take this. Very experienced player, he's 35 years old. This could tie it up for Switzerland. Expertly taken. The Swiss have equalised with 20 minutes of the match remaining. The penalty kick from Georgi Bregi, his 10th international goal. And real joy among the Swiss players now. Well, it shows his composure here because it must be a very tense moment for him and very calm and gives the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever. Well, coffee book.